what about our area? Well, let's take a peek at what we're dealing with because the tornado warnings are still in effect in the Midwest. For us, it's just some, you know, light rain north of New York City. Why are we concerned then? Okay, it's got a long way to travel. It is going to weaken as it does so. However, when you see the big clash in temperatures, warm and cold, that's problematic. And even for us, all right, yes, I know we're not in Tornado Alley, but uh, come on, you're 70 degrees on Saturday afternoon. You're in the 30s by Sunday morning. And is that, it's, it is that clash of warm and cold that can bring about some problems. So let's see how we see this whole thing playing out. So let's watch what we've got right now. There's that line approaching Chicago. There's that other line I showed you around Iowa. Let's see how this is going to play out for our area. The computer models are even picking up on that light rain that's non-hazardous north of the area right now. Put into play, all right, by tomorrow morning, early morning, 5.30, we've got some bouts of heavy rain. And you're gonna be dealing with bouts of heavy rain during the morning hours from 5.30 until, look at this, that's 11 a.m. And that right there is that line that I would've just shown you coming through Chicago. And after that, boy, there's clear skies, right? Well, here's the problem. As that clear sky sets up over our area, now we're warm enough. Now we create our own bear clinic zone with warm and cold air, and we start popping some prefrontal storms. This will actually be our potential, all right? There are no guarantees here. This is the potential for our heaviest weather. It would be Saturday night from about 7 p.m. until 11 p.m., and then finally it pushes out. You get a much clearer sky on Sunday, but remember, big drop in temperatures out there. So what are we concerned about? Winds, obviously. And even if you don't get twist in the atmosphere, straight line winds could potentially be a problem. We have the potential for 45 to 50 mile per hour gusts along the Jersey Shore. Consequently, a wind advisory has been issued for you. But anybody, okay, anybody, even without a wind advisory, has the potential for damaging winds out there. This is for your day on Saturday into the nighttime hours on Saturday. And there is the chance that there could be some twist. Now, the numbers are tiny. A 2% chance, which even includes the metro areas, right? in green and an elevated chance but at only five percent but still that would be the biggest risk for tornadic activity so if there was to be a tornado in this area it would be very isolated but i've got to get the word out that hey the national weather service says it is a possibility you need to know it and i need to tell you about it so here's how i see it coming together saturday 70 degrees ends up being your high temperature it's a yellow alert day you've got some Heavy downpours, even potentially in the morning hours. The red alert, specifically for the area south of New York City and specifically for uh, the latter portion of the day on Saturday. Really, it's Saturday night. Colder air sets up for Sunday. I mean, you're starting off in the 30s, only up to about 52, but you've got a good-looking day out there. Monday, you're 62, and really, next week, we're going to keep you in the 60s. You do see a 70 for next Thursday, but uh, it, it could... I hope it doesn't, but it could become yeah. problematic tomorrow, especially tomorrow night. Yeah, so much still to learn about what's happening in Arkansas, too. Yeah, and you know what, Dan, when you take a big system like that, it's going to weaken as it moves into our area. But when they're that strong, mm -hmm. if you cut off 50% of its strength, it's still a problem maker. I can tell you're a little worried. <laughs> well, we, look, we, we want you to be informed, yeah. not alarmed, and, and that's something that we're all watching. And the National Weather Service is on board, too. Uh, we get their message out to yeah. you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you Lonnie. Okay.